world. So today, today is the day that I'm sick. I have been sick for a few days now and it sucks. But I've got my tea ready. I'm gonna make my shake. I've got uh, some pineapple pork, some mango, uh, put some garlic from, from my tea. Like some of the garlic that I, like I didn't use all the garlic for my tea because like you know uh, cinnamon um, did I say coconut oil yeah I put coconut oil I put some blueberries I put some um, banana um, I put some hemp seeds I put some poppy seeds I put some pumpkin seeds I put some mulberries. Yeah, mulberries. Uh, that sounds so weird. I mean, I sound weird either way because I'm sick, so whatever. Um, what else did I put in this? Uh, I put my protein powder because I got to put the protein powder because I'm sick and my body is working hard. And regardless of exercise, my body needs the protein to be able to work hard and, you know, just function properly. So, yeah. So I got my coconut oil so I can get my oils in my brain and, yeah, have it all good. I had a seizure a few nights ago and, uh, know, my tongue is pretty much healed. But, I mean, you know, it sucks. Oh, uh, well, I mean, at least I was on the bed. I actually had a Nora. It, the war didn't last long before the seizure started, so it's a good thing I was on my bed. I was able to take my glasses off, put them on my desk, and then I blacked out. And then I came out of it, and I guess I was really out of it, um, because uh, I remember looking for my glasses inside the wall of my bed. Um, while my mom was telling me just to lie down. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, um, pretty interesting because I put my glasses on the desk. Like, I didn't put it on top of the desk. I put it on, like, that little, uh, keyboard thing. Um, so it was, like, kind of under the desk, I guess. Ta-da! The shake is done. It's beautiful. And it's super yummy. Nom, 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 nom. What is my inspiration? Who is my inspiration? I am my inspiration. My mom is my inspiration. My dogs are my inspiration. There are a lot of things that inspire me. I want to work out and I know I'm sick. I want to work out and make myself the healthiest person I can be because for one thing the reason my dogs now I know it's weird but my dogs are my inspiration because I want to be able to take them out for long walks take them to the dog park and so they can enjoy time with their friends now my mom she's my inspiration because she does so much for me. She takes care of me when I have seizures. She makes food. She she helps me when I'm sick. She she's just an amazing person. She she works so hard to do so many things. And it's just I want to be able to help her instead of her help me. I want to be able to be fit enough so that she can focus on her health instead of help me with so many things all the time. Now, I am my inspiration because I have epilepsy and I still want to work hard and exercise and get rid of all this excess fat because being overweight is just, it's such a pain. Like, it's literally a pain because there's so much pain in my body just because I'm overweight. And I have to deal with so many things and it's just, it's frustrating. My sister 
is one of my inspirations because, well, frankly, she's a badass. She has gone through accidents. She has gone through injuries in rugby. Like, she is... <clears throat> she's a badass. And, like, she's still so strong. And I look up to her because... Well, for one thing, she's my older sister, and she's awesome. <laughs> and another thing, my sister, she never seems to back down. She never just sits down and says, Hey, okay, for the rest of my life, I'm just gonna sit around and not do anything. She's always constantly doing things. She's always moving. She's always just up and doing something because she she doesn't want to be stagnant she doesn't want to fall into that habit and I think that is something that I, I want to be able to do I want to I want to do that as I mentioned I have epilepsy so, that is one of my inspirations because so many people with epilepsy are just taught that they basically can't do anything, that they have to just let things happen because of their seizures. And yes, I understand that people who have continuous seizures over and over and over again uh, with no end, I get it. Because, frankly, that is just... I I'm grateful that I don't have that. But with people like me who do have some breaks in between their seizures, um, however short or long they may be, um, there is time to do things. There is time available to get things done. And I don't want to live my life just being stagnant and being on my bed all the time and just not doing anything with my life. I want to be able to go out. I want to be able to be fit. I want to be able to run and not be super winded because that sucks. Uh, it hurts <laughs> when you're winded because anybody who has ever been winded knows that it just hurts your lungs. Anyway, um, yeah, I just I just want to be able to go out and enjoy myself and not have to deal with so much pain in my body. That's that's also one of my inspirations. It's, it's the pain in my body because that is it's not really an inspiration. It's more like a motivation. But I just want to get to a point where I'm not feeling pain in my body anymore. Cuz I'm already dealing with pain in my head with my seizures when I have the auras and um, it's, it's just not fun. So, when I get to a point where I'm only having to deal with the pain in my head, then that's going to be a great day for me because then all the other parts of my body are not going to be screaming, Hey, what about me? What about me? What about me? One thing that definitely motivates me to exercise is the fact that I'm sick right now. And that's because I haven't exercised, I haven't been going out, I haven't been doing anything. And, I mean, I did exercise before I got sick. I started exercising, but that was short-lived because I got sick. And my body wasn't strong enough to fight off the cold. 
Now, see, if I was super fit, then I wouldn't have this problem. I wouldn't be sick right now. But I am. So that is one of my goals is to be fit to a point where my body's able to fight off pretty much anything that comes out up to me and tries to attack my bodies, my antibodies, whatever. That my antibodies are fighting it off and winning. And not letting anything through. <laughs> I mean, I'm still sick for now, but I think maybe I'll be able to get in a workout or at least take the dogs out today instead of my mom having to take the dogs out because I know she's exhausted from doing so much work around the house. Of course, I'm also going to be editing my videos today. Um, video for my comedy channel because today is Thursday and get some work done. Uh, read some stuff about the new changes on YouTube because apparently they're changing the monetization thing again and um, check in to Fiverr and see the messages that I've gotten today. Now apparently I have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. 4,000 hours or 4,000 minutes? I think it's 4,000 hours. It is ridiculous. Well, 4,000 hours in the past year, but I have to have 1,000 subscribers. This is so ridiculous. Like, really? Why you gotta be like that, YouTube? Just finished filming the video for my comedy channel today. And I think I did pretty well. Mm hmm Yeah. It's about the Tide Pod Challenge. If you know my comedy channel, then you've already seen it. Because this comes out after that, obviously, though. But I definitely think that the people who have not done the Tide Pod Challenge will definitely enjoy my video. I finally have my video for my comedy channel up and uploaded and it's all awesome and because it's awesome I'm awesome <laughs> and everybody watching is awesome so yeah yeah I know I'm weird. There, there's no um, contest about that. <laughs> I think I'm just Proud of the work that I've done so far today. So I'm not feeling well, and I'm pretty sure I'm having an aura. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel that great. And mommy is filming me too because she wants to know how I'm feeling. And all the details and everything of how I'm feeling. And I feel like crap because that's how it feels. Turns out that I did have some seizures. I had some smaller seizures. Uh, I had an atonic seizure. Basically, my legs weren't working. The plus side is that they were only smaller seizures. So I didn't have a tonic clonic seizure, which I'm really happy for. Um, but I did still get exhausted from the seizures so I had to sleep afterwards and you know sleep it off. I only slept 14 hours this time so 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of the vlog. I love you guys so much. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My health channel and my comedy channel. My health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. And my comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. Love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.